The Division of Facility Services at EKU manages the physical resources for the university. We employ 320 staff members in six different departments. Our mission is to support the academic goals of the university by providing high quality care and maintenance of our resources. We respond to more than 18,000 service requests each year with a sense of urgency and professionalism. We provide the students, faculty, and staff with clean, comfortable, and safe surroundings in which to live, teach, and learn. We set the stage, both figuratively and literally, for all activities on campus, from camps and conferences to banquets, weddings, and proms, from athletic competitions to commencement exercises. Now here's my team to introduce themselves and to tell you more about who we are and what we do to support the university's mission. My name is Kimberly Cook and I'm the Assistant Director of Administrative Support Services here with EKU Division of Facility Services. Our front office staff is often the first point of contact with students, faculty, and staff here within the university. We provide extensive customer service throughout our very busy days via email correspondence, face-to-face -face interaction, and telephone correspondence. Our front office also serves as the hub for our outside contractors working on campus, as well as for EKU facility services employees. We tend to employ approximately 20 students each semester. Our senior office associates and student employees print out each work order as they come into our system and assign them to the appropriate shop for maintenance and disperse them accordingly. Once the work order has been completed, each shop is responsible for turning those back into the front office. Our front office also serves as the emergency number to call for maintenance issues that need attention right away. On average, our front office handles approximately 75 to 100 telephone calls per day. Our front office takes care of anywhere from 15 to 20 outside contractors on a daily basis. Contractors are able to have that one-stop shop for convenience for them to be able to check out the keys that they will need as well as their service parking permits. Our front office is also a general point of contact for all of our facility services employees whenever they need access to buildings and daily gas card checkouts. We work hand in hand with the University Claims Office to obtain all the required information in obtaining accident reports for our facility services employees. Our facility services front office also handles approximately 70 employee housing rental units. We handle everything from the incoming invoices from vendors, as well as 73 employee pro cards within the Division of Facility Services. Our mission here at the Facility Services Front Office is to provide great customer service to all of those that we come into contact with on a daily basis. We work here as a team, and we are here to serve our students, faculty, and staff at Eastern Kentucky University. I'm Ronnie Mink. I'm the Associate Director for Facility Services, responsible for the central heat plant, the electrical department, the plumbing department, the HVAC department, building automation systems, and campus utilities. Employees maintain the coal yard, hauling the coal to the heat plant, maintaining the coal elevator, ash silo, the air compressors, coal delivery systems to the boiler, and to maintain the water softeners to keep our boilers in good condition. EKU purchases its power from Kentucky Utilities, which is delivered to campus at a main substation located on the south side of campus. Our employees are responsible for the maintenance of all the wire, switches, transformers from the substation to every electrical point where electricity can be used on campus. It's also responsible for all the fire alarm equipment and their 16,000 devices associated with them. It maintains and services 46 generators that are inspected twice each month and we perform the general maintenance on those. They maintain and provide sound systems for the whole campus. They maintain all the internal and external lights on campus. And additionally, they support the athletic departments with scoreboards, time clocks, sounds, lights. The plumbing department is responsible for maintenance and repair of all plumbing fixtures on campus with miles of piping underground and in the buildings. The maintenance and repair of all the sanitary sewer stations. They maintain and repair all the fire hydrants. They do the maintenance and repair of swimming pools, spas, whirlpools, fountains, our mechanical 
HVAC department are responsible for providing heat with 68 steam or hot water boilers, 64 chillers and cooling towers plus all their associated equipment which is needed to produce cooling for the campus. Our building automation system is located in the Gentry building. It has three full-time employees. They control, monitor, troubleshoot, maintain, inspect, and make all the repairs to the control systems on campus. They implement and facilitate the energy management system and HVAC controls. They write, debug, code, analyze, and enhance programs to balance energy management with comfort control. In controls, we have over 150,000 points that is being monitored on a daily basis. In conclusion, I would like to say that our departments work together as a team to provide a comfortable environment for our students, our faculty, our staff, and our administrators so that we can provide our students with a affordable, quality education. My name is Bill Rhodes and I'm the Assistant Director for Environmental Compliance and Energy Management. I actually grew up here in Richmond. My dad taught at EKU, went to model for 12 years, and I was gone for a good period of time, but have been back as part of the EKU community since 2007. My primary role in facilities is to review and maintain our environmental permits and to make sure that EKU operates within them. I also monitor campus-wide utility consumption and the associated fuel mix and identify energy savings opportunities. In the Energy Management Systems Control Center, or EMS, I supervise the emergency dispatch and building system operators. Within environmental compliance, my charge is to ensure no notices of violation under the conditions of the operating permits issued by state and federal regulatory agencies. EKU spends between seven and eight million dollars each year on electricity, natural gas, water, sewer, coal, and solid waste. We collect, trend, and report the utility's usage. Our EMS operators monitor every building on campus after hours and on weekends using three different building management systems. They ensure proper equipment operation to prevent damage to our mechanical systems and verify comfortable building environments. In addition, EMS operators staff the facility's 24-7, 365 emergency maintenance one call phone line. Anyone can call the number day or night, including weekends and holidays, and report any safety or comfort concerns. EMS determines the appropriate response and either dispatches on-call facilities personnel or logs a work order for assignment the following day. EMS maintains nighttime and weekend security by logging in visitors and monitoring the facility's security cameras. I am excited to see what EKU will become and am happy to be a part of it. My name is Keith Tate. I am the Associate Director for Structural Services. Our goal is to provide a safe campus environment that encourages faculty, staff, and students to achieve the highest level of education possible. Our staff is very dedicated to our goal. At Facility Services, we require all of our employees to attend OSHA training, but that is only the beginning of the qualifications of our structural employees. Structural Services has 38 employees that are responsible for the routine day-to-day maintenance of over six million square feet of building space. Their duties include the following. Carpentry work consists of handrails, steps, building shelving, cabinets, refinishing furniture, installing various types of flooring, installing signs and banners on sign boards, supporting athletics at home sporting events, and supporting conferencing and events when hosting events such as Special Olympics. Our lock shop maintains records for all keys on campus and cutting keys for campus buildings and replacement and repair of automatic door openers, panic bars, and door closers in order to meet ADA accessibility. Our paint shop is responsible for painting of all academic buildings, residence halls, and rental properties. 
replacement and repair of existing carpet, ceramic walls and floors, replacement of broken glass in windows and doors, installation and repair of window blinds and treatments. Our housing maintenance department is responsible for the general maintenance in residence halls, including plumbing, electrical, carpentry, and assisting in HVAC repairs and ADA compliance. Structural Services constructs and manages more requests for change to facilities for RCF projects than any other department in facility services. The Department of Structural Services is dedicated, well-trained, and available anytime, night or day. We are EKU strong and go Colonels. I'm Chris Pearl, Assistant Director for Campus Grounds and General Maintenance. Campus Beautiful is the mantra for this university. Our team strives to maintain and build upon those very words. EKU is made up of over 920 acres of land. That's equivalent to 691 football fields. The sports turf crew maintains 30 acres of athletic fields, which is equal to 20 football fields. This campus has great stands of mature trees. We are embarking on a new exciting project with the American Chestnut Foundation to reintroduce the American Chestnut tree back into our ecosystem. EKU will be the host scientific site for the state of Kentucky. We have implemented numerous rain gardens on campus, helping to slow the stormwater runoff and be proactive in our quest to become more sustainable. The Gabbert Building is home base, housing surplus storage, overflow storage of tables and chairs, our own paper shred room, and recycle area. The EKU recycling program has achieved great success in the past several years. EKU has donated over 93,000 pounds of aluminum cans to our local Habitat for Humanity. EKU's recycling efforts have kept 9.5 million pounds of waste from going to the landfill. Flower beds, out with the old and in with the new, which leads into one of the groups I'd like to tell you more about. That would be our in-house horticulturist. You can't help to notice the beauty of the various plantings. Most buildings and other major points of access are aesthetically pleasing. This is due to the high level of planning, preparation, installation, and maintenance performed by our horticulturist team. In order to maintain these pristine focal points, the team is required to work weekends and holidays to provide water and ensure optimal plant health. Allow me to tell you a little about Vicki Simmons. Vicki is no stranger to overcoming huge obstacles. In her early teens, she was diagnosed with a rare eye disease, which has left her legally blind. But Vicki has never let that keep her from accomplishing her goals. She not only graduated high school, but also received a bachelor's degree in agriculture from EKU. For many years, Vicki was a member of a music group called the New Coon Creek Girls, where she was not only a musician and singer, but she was also the group's business manager, booking agent, and road manager. In 2008, Vicki experienced a brain aneurysm and a subsequent stroke, but that too did not deter her spirit to work and learn new things. She almost immediately started taking speech therapy at EKU with Dr. Tammy Cranfield. Dr. Cranfield and David Williams helped Vicki secure a position on the EKU horticulture crew where she could use the agriculture and horticulture skills she learned previously. She has also been able to study and learn the knowledge needed to acquire her Kentucky pesticide license. Vicki is back playing and singing whenever possible and truly enjoys that. All divisions of grounds and general maintenance become one when an emergency situation arises. Be it a wind or ice storm to feet of snow, team members working in negative 20 degree temps trying to get campus open and ready for business. This perseverance builds upon the family atmosphere that so many people talk about when they talk about EKU. These folks take pride in their job and the results of doing a good job. This has been a brief look at campus grounds and general maintenance. I appreciate your time and attention, and of course, go Colonels. Hello, my name is John Cook. I'm the Associate Director for Facilities Responsible for Custodial. 
We in Custodial Services help keep campus alive by trying our best to provide a top-notch living and learning environment for our students, working and teaching environment for our faculty and staff, and safe and welcoming environment for our visitors and the community. Everyone probably knows that Custodial is responsible for cleaning, which we do for all 91 buildings and 52 rental units associated with the Richmond campus. That's over 4.25 million cleanable square feet or how about cleaning over 800 public restrooms every day? But that's just part of the story. Working at EKU benefits the lives of entry-level employees, and boy, do we appreciate it. Our management philosophy and custodial is to help make everyone who works with us successful. In my four years at EKU, we have gone from a staff of 214 employees to 183, while experiencing a 10% increase in space cleaned adding the Performing Arts Center, new residence hall, new science building, and more. With 103 employees, Custodial is one of the largest individual work units at EKU. Thanks for letting us share our story with you, and as a famous man I know always says at the conclusion of his presentations,